a massive waterway that was supposed to rival the Panama Canal. And it would have been one of China's crowning achievements in Central America. But instead, the project looks set to be one of China's most spectacular failures in recent history. Stick around as we take a look at the Nicaragua Grand Canal and why the project has failed so badly despite being backed by Chinese money. The Nicaragua Grand Canal a transoceanic canal that would have connected the Pacific Ocean to the Caribbean Sea. The project was backed by Beijing via a Hong Kong businessman named Wang Jing. China's economy relies heavily on international trade. And China depends heavily on the Panama Canal as a shorter route to Europe, Africa and the east coast of South America. But China realizes it may have a problem securing this vital maritime link in the future. Panama is a country that is very close to the US in terms of diplomatic ties. And Washington has a history of exerting its influence over the Panama Canal. Given political tensions between China and the US, Beijing is worried that its access to the Panama Canal would be impeded should war break out between China and the US. Such an impediment would curtail China's economy and its access to raw materials. China knows it needs an alternative to the Panama Canal. So in 2010, China began studying ways in which it could reshape the maritime route by building a canal through Nicaragua which will align with the San Juan River. The canal would run for 270 kilometers from Brito to Punta Gorda and a large part of it would run through Lake Coquibolca. While the Nicaragua Canal would be longer than the Panama Canal, from China's point of view, it would be a route that is shorter by more than 1,500 kilometers. Given that Chinese ships would no longer need to sail down to Panama Bay. And for Nicaragua, the canal is expected to double the country's GDP. As such, it seems like a win-win proposition for both China and Nicaragua. So in 2012, the Nicaragua government granted a 50-year concession for the canal project to a China-based firm known as the Hong Kong Nicaragua Canal Development or HKND to finance, build and manage the Nicaragua Grand Canal. And in 2014, HKND announced that construction work on the project had begun. But by 2015, the project began seeing some difficulties. One of the difficulties encountered was the transportation of construction materials. Given that the ends of the canal are located in very remote locations. To overcome this, HKND proposed to construct a wharf on Nicaragua's Pacific coast so that supplies and construction machinery can be shipped directly to the project site but the concession to build the wharf was never granted. In addition to this, Nicaragua's president, Daniel Ortega, began coming under fire. Accusations of corruption and land appropriation began to surface, while environmental groups began raising alarms about biodiversity loss in Lake Coquibolca. Given this level of scrutiny from various groups, the canal began losing its political backing. Furthermore, 2015 and 2016 were turbulent years in the Chinese stock market. There was a bubble in the Chinese stock market at that time and it burst in June 2015. 
and stocks listed in China lost as much as one third of their value within a month. Exacerbating the stock market crash was the oil crisis of 2016, which further amplified the rout of funds from bosses like the Shanghai Stock Exchange. One of the casualties of the stock market crash was Wang Jing. His net worth was estimated to have gone from $10 billion to less than $1 billion due to the stock market crisis in China. As a result, there were uncertainties over whether HKND could fund the canal project. At the same time, China was beginning to rethink its investment strategies in Latin America. By then, China had already loaned around $60 billion to countries like Venezuela, and the return on these investments have at times looked very uncertain. Given that the Chinese economy itself was in need of support, there was very little interest in Beijing to continue supporting the Nicaragua Canal project. With that, the HKND headquarters in China closed in 2018. And over in Nicaragua, the law that granted HKND with the concession to build the canal was finally repealed in May 2024, marking the official end of the Nicaragua Canal project. The project's failure means that the Panama Canal will continue to be the main route for ships crossing the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic for many more decades to come. As such, for now, it appears that China remains beholden to Panama and any political influence that Washington might impose on Panama. Given China's seemingly perpetual reliance on the Panama Canal, but there are signs on the horizon that things might change. At the time that the concession for the canal was granted to Wang Jing, China did not have diplomatic ties with Nicaragua, given the latter's recognition of Taiwan. Hence, this was probably why the project was fronted as a private sector initiative. But Nicaragua has since re-established official diplomatic relations with China, and Nicaragua announced in 2021 that it has broken diplomatic ties with Taiwan and that Nicaragua would now only recognize one single China. Following this, in August 2023, China and Nicaragua signed a free trade agreement and Nicaragua has since received several hundred million US dollars in loans from China. To fund infrastructure projects in the country, including the building of an airport, the rapidly improving relations between the two countries, coupled with the fact that China remains keen to lessen its dependence on Panama, have raised speculations that China could once again dedicate funds for a canal, but only this time it would be a government-to-government -government endeavor so that Beijing would have greater control over how the project would turn out. What are your thoughts on the Nicaragua Grand Canal project? Do leave us your comments below and drop us a like and subscribe if you found this insightful.